Okay, so we're about to hit spoiler territory. So if you haven't seen Deadpool 2, why the hell did you even click on this video? I have spoiler on the title card. So you shouldn't be watching this video. Why am I even talking to you about this? You guys should know. Spoiler, it's in the title. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Robert Storm. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. I upload videos daily. Today is my Deadpool 2 spoiler filled review. And I know what you're thinking. Now, and the first thing on your mind, why am I wearing the same shirt as yesterday? Well, that's because I filmed my spoiler free and my spoiler review at the same time to try to save time. Yeah. So Deadpool 2, I think, starts off with a bang. Like I said in my spoiler-free review, I was really skeptical about this movie. None of the trailers, none of the trailers brought me into this movie. None of it kind of grabbed me and said, this movie's going to be awesome. I was actually worried. I was like, well, Deadpool 1 was so good. Can they relive that momentum of the first film? And they did, within the first 10 minutes, because they killed Vanessa in the first 10 minutes of the movie. And right after that happens, you are invested in this movie. Wade loses the will to live. He doesn't want to live no more until he meets this young kid. And it's his goal to protect this kid from Cable and eventually this kid turns out to be like this big bad who kills Cable's family in the future and it's up Deadpool to try to protect him from Cable and try to prevent this kid from turning into this giant supervillain and then the kid becomes friends with Juggernaut Juggernaut fucking Juggernaut Juggernaut the Juggernaut bitch like like I was like oh the Juggernaut we finally got the Juggernaut the Juggernaut done right Done right. They even mention the fact that he's related to Professor X. It's fucking great. It's great. Finally, Juggernaut done right. And basically, it's Wade forming the X-Force, but the X-Force that you see in the trailer all gets killed besides Domino. Everybody gets killed. All those people get killed. And then you meet the real X-Force, which is Colossus, Deadpool, Domino, Cable, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and her girlfriend. And then we, we it's them trying to stop Juggernaut and this boy from this boy from trying to kill this guy, which is going to send him down the dark path of basically being this super villain in the future. And I was just invested, invested, because you see different layers of, of Wade in this. You see different layers of, of a guy who, who doesn't want to be alone. He wants to die. His whole life has died because of stuff that he has done. And he feels guilty for that. And he's trying to be with Vanessa. He wants to be with Vanessa in the afterlife. And the movie was done so well. The jokes were on point. I mean, he's making fun of stuff in the Marvel Universe, the DCE Universe, the X-Men Universe. We see cameos of the X-Men of the first class, like Beast and James McAvoy as Professor X. We get to see all that stuff in this movie. So it's like they kind of took a larger budget you know, compared to what they had in the first movie, and they used it the right way. In my spoiler-free video, I mentioned a couple nitpicks. One of them was the CGI. There is plenty parts in this movie where the CGI just looks horrible. And that is whenever you see Juggernaut from, like, a far distance, because Juggernaut's this huge, giant man, and from a far distance, the way he moves, it just looks completely fake. It looks like you're playing a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One game. It really does. But when you zoom in closer to Juggernaut, when he's playing Colossus, which looks fantastic, it, it actually looks pretty good. But even, like... Even Ryan Reynolds is like, oh, it's time for the big CGI fight, you know? So, like, they, they mention it, but the CGI definitely looks really bad in certain spots. And, of course, there wasn't that much Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I love Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I wanted to see more of her. And, basically, her role was limited to whatever we saw in the trailer. But I really like this movie a lot because of the heart, especially at the end where Deadpool sacrifices himself for this kid and he dies and they, they kind of play a joke, but when he dies, he's reunited with Vanessa. It was actually a really emotional part of the movie and it really got me kind of choked up. And I loved it even when she's like, you're not done yet. We'll, we'll have our time, but you're not done yet. You got to go back. And it was really a touching and emotional part of the movie that you wouldn't expect from a Deadpool movie. And it just had me invested. It was so good. And then the end credit scene was probably some of the best. And it, it has to be my favorite end credit scene I have ever seen. Because you have 
Deadpool, who Negasonic Teenage Warhead fixes Cable's time machine, and Deadpool goes back in the past, and he writes all the wrongs. Like, he goes back, he saves Vanessa, so if the end credit scene is canon, then Vanessa's alive now. He saved that one Peter, Peter Wisdom, or whatever the guy's name is, from, um the X-Force that joined him, saves him. Then he goes back to X-Men Origins and kills himself. He kills the Deadpool from X-Men Origins. And then he goes and assassinates Ryan Reynolds, who's looking at the script for Green Lantern. Hilarious. Fucking great. The best end credit scenes I have ever seen in a movie. is so fucking good. So great. This movie well exceeded my expectations. I went in this movie and I just had fun from start to finish. There was no moments where I was like, oh, this is getting kind of slow. Can we speed this up? Can we speed this up? It was like boom, boom, boom. Had a great time the entire time. Fantastic movie. I, I, I really want to know what you guys think. Have you seen Deadpool 2? What did you think? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Did you guys like it as much as I did? Did you go in with low expectations? Be sure to leave those comments. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Also, if you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.